So you want to put solar panels on your roof, but you're stuck with the problem of how do you run your solar wires from your roof down to the compartment where you have your batteries and your solar controllers. This problem can be solved by finding a closet or something that runs from the floor to the ceiling in your RV. I chose a closet of the last couple of RVs that I've put solar panels in, I've used a closet. You will need to use the solar entry gland to seal where the wires go through the roof. I highly recommend that you get an entry gland that you can screw to the roof. That way you don't have to wait for the sealant to be dry before it's stable. Here are some examples of some different solar entry glands that I would recommend. I'm seeing some available that have the MC4 connectors that are already connected to them. Make sure you get a good set so that you are sure that they're not going to leak. And also make sure that you get a set that has the wires cut already so you can slide those through the roof. Make sure that you use the sealant that is compatible for your roof. To get through the roof, first clean out your closet so that you don't end up with dust or insulation all over the stuff that's inside the closet. But you're going to want to drill up through the roof, not down through the roof. So start in the closet and drill up through the roof. Measure, 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 and then double check and make sure that you're in the right spot. To access drilling through the floors, it's likely that you're going to need to remove the drawers. Uh, removing the drawers is pretty easy. Slide the drawers out completely and you'll find on each side where the rails are that there's going to be these little black clips. One of them will go up, one of them will go down, and then the drawer will slide right out. When you put the drawer back in, just put the drawer right back into those sleeves, into the slides, and then close the drawer completely. When you open it, you will find that it will be locked back into place. But as soon as you get through the ceiling and you're back in, you're now in the RV, uh, make sure that you put your wires over in the corner of the closet. So get your holes as close as you can to the corner of the closet. That way they're not going to be in the way. I use a zip tie with a screw hole in it to secure everything. You can see in the photographs here where I run the wire through the floor and then I drilled another hole and I also drilled the hole through the uh, front compartment firewall. Uh, when you do this, again, make sure that you measure, know what's on each side before you do it, and then you can drill your hole. If you're passing the wire through wood only, then you don't need to put any bullets or anything to protect it. But if you're putting it through metal, make sure that you're putting something through that to protect the wire so that the wire doesn't get cut by the metal. Well, that should get you from the roof to your solar controllers. Hey, thanks for watching.